Hi everyone, welcome back to Through Alchemy. So today's reading is going to be titled as Are You Both Ready to Receive Love? This reading is going to be specifically focused upon your ability to give and take. So we have three piles from the left to right. The first pile is Citrine. The second pile is Wild Horse Jasper. And the third pile is Rose Quartz. Pause if you need a little bit longer, pick the one which calls your name the most. Now I'm going to begin with pile number one. Hello pile number one, if you chose the citrine, this is going to be your reading. So the card that you chose is speak out, communicate and resolve the conflicts. So definitely with all the greens that we have, take a closer look at the card. Um, there's a lot of depiction about, it's sort of mapping out and using your heart chakra to communicate things that you don't feel necessarily that you can and majorly one energy that i pick up over here is a lot about um, twisting of words and i don't mean necessarily in a manipulative manner but not being able to say things as you would like to say because you're scared of being taken advantage of um, and i see that over here there's an energy of um, opening up of hearts like if you're in separation there's a lot of healing happening regarding your heart chakra expanding so the both masculine and feminine energies could be feeling this shift now the way that i'm going to be doing this reading is i'm going to be using one deck to understand the masculine's energy and the another deck and another deck for the feminine's energy so the masculine represents the yang energy and the feminine represents the yin energy all right so feel free to exchange whatever energy comes up for you um don't be too attached to one sort of um, designation in the reading there could also be mirroring so you could see the interpretation in the opposite energy as yours as well so I would recommend keeping an open mind until the end of the reading to derive a proper conclusion about this. Firstly, we're going to do the masculine spread. I'm going to take this in reverse. We have the Empress in reverse. I'm going to take this in reverse. We have the Hierophant in reverse. I'm going to take this in. I'm going to reshuffle the morning card. I usually interpret that as the sun, but I'm going to take a better card. So we're going to take this in reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse, and King of Cups. Bottom of the deck, I'm seeing Eight of Swords and Five of Pentacles. So for the feminine energy, um, gradually the more I'm tapping into these energies, I feel like the masculine still has a more open-hearted energy and the feminine has comparatively a lot of hesitancy. I'm going to be taking this upright, two of swords, this in reverse, you have the three of wands. You have the Three of Swords, Upright Reverse Spirit, Reverse. Reverse. 
reverse four of cups Right, they want me to complete the spread also get clarifiers so we're gonna do that fun fact i actually began off recording this pile but i forgot to hit the press button i think there's a revision energy like another go at it we're gonna take this upright i have the five of swords I take this in reverse we have the page of cups in reverse we have the hierophant upright reverse spread upright shuffle the lovers Bottom of the deck, I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles and the Hangman. We have this card upright, the Two of Pentacles. We have this upright, we have the Three of Pentacles. Reverse, we have the Ace of Wands reversed. Upright, we have the Four of Cups. Five of Cups crowning, uh, bottom of the deck, crowning as Queen of Swords. So immediately there are two cards that are similar in the feminine and masculine's energy which is the Hierophant for the feminine upright and Hierophant for the masculine in reverse. Now let's talk about the feminine energy first of all. Um, with the Four of Cups in reverse and the Hierophant this feminine energy is releasing a rejection wound. Now that could be something that was um, caused by this masculine for the feminine to feel rejected by him and heal the pain that was pre-existing okay so now if you're the masculine energy and there's an energy of you feeling like um you did wrong there's also an energy of this feminine ha pre-existingly having um an infested rejection wound within herself when it comes to love now with the hierophant i definitely feel like because it represents taurus energy which is which is ruled by the planet of venus which talks about self-worth um this is a lot about venus is also the planet of give and receive so this feminine is releasing this energy of feeling unworthy of love and unable to receive love from the masculine because the feminine energy is naturally receptive and it's more um in the receiving energy um, exactly what I'm trying to say there's a lot of um, hesitancy that I feel when it comes to this feminine energy because even though I understand this this is not something that is easy for this feminine to communicate because it somewhere makes her feel like she's being weak if, he, if she's letting somebody else see her shadow attributes um, for the feminine energy we do have two of swords and the page of cups in reverse um, this could be waiting for an apology from the masculine perhaps or just an energy of feeling confused whether she wants to go ahead with this or not because i see that with the three of wands in reverse and the lovers something about this connection feels bleak to her the future does not feel uns does not feel certain basically and this feminine is really scared of getting a heart broken by this masculine um whereas she wants to receive that love she wants to be taken care of i feel this feminine energy is um trying to understand herself and um inculcate this 
way of perceiving herself as being very worthy of love which wasn't there previously um because of this heartbreak that she's been through which she is healing right now with the three of swords that saturn energy something that the masculine was supposed to do okay this was very divinely guided for the feminine to experience this pain and being pushed away by the masculine i feel like there's still an internal battle where she feels defeated by this connection so even though i intuitively feel like this feminine yes is ready for love um when it comes specifically towards this masculine she has kind of closed herself off because she's focusing more on her healing um so technically she is not ready for love okay because if you're not open to your masculine there's still something that really hurts you if you're in the feminine energy um and i see that with the lovers and the two of swords there's a choice that she needs to make over here whether she wants to go ahead with this um reconciliation again or not and i feel like there's a lot of dilly dallying um because uh, she's still healing and seeing how she feels whereas i feel like with the lovers gemini energy there is a need or desire to communicate with the masculine but she is not i don't feel like this feminine energy is in in a way wanting to initiate that communication because um again this feminine somewhere feels hopeless about this so i think that there's an energy of feeling tired of the separation reconciliation fiasco over here uh, she's kind of feeling like uh, she should just focus upon herself that would pay her off better um there's some sort of confusion within her where i see with the five of swords and the three of swords in reverse i feel like the more that she is healing she's also realizing that she would fight for this but the reason why she's keeping her cl cards close to her chest is because she doesn't know if the masculine wants something that she desires from him now there's an energy of exclusivity i pick up over here that this feminine doesn't really um she's not looking for love per se in other people um she's kind of closed herself off because she recognizes the need to take care of herself all right so in a way again to answer the question if uh, the feminine energy is ready for love i would say if she wants to be she can be um but there's also perfectionism where she is expecting herself to come to this level of complete healing um which is not actually achievable right you always keep healing in your life and i feel intuitively there's a part of her that really wants to be taken care of by this masculine it could also be coming from a father wound but i see this more being about her closing off to love yeah that that honk was definitely a confirmation that she's kind of closed herself to love and i think that what she's looking for is a long term commitment and she's not seeing that in her masculine even though she desires that um and she's not seeing that definitely she's not seeing that in other suitors around her so she's kind of at a crossroad in her life where she is just choosing herself is what i see mainly now for the masculine energy comparatively i feel like this masculine has kind of retreated in his energy because he is facing a little bit of difficulty in accepting the love that um this connection brings to him and he's facing a lot of difficulty in um forgiving himself and also feeling worthy of her love um this masculine has recognition of the fact that he has really hurt this feminine he kind of also expects that when he comes back or if he approaches her um there would be a hard to please energy with her because something about her energy is understandable to him um this masculine is pretty psychic okay um he has come a long way on his journey that's not to be taken away from his progress um something i majorly feel with the ace of swords is that he still has to make a decision about separating ties from his past now that could be a karmic partner that could be parental figures that could be anything that doesn't allow him to pursue this connection as he would like to 
so whereas i see this is not completely visible to him or he's not feeling the power from within and if you're in the masculine energy i am hearing from spirit it's not your time to exactly make this decision right now um, because there's a lot more that you need to go through to feel more strengthful in making um, very assertive decisions for yourself so this masculine feels uninspired himself because he's picking up on this feminine's energy and he can feel um, the way that she is hurting perhaps and this feminine I feel like this feminine doesn't let people see how much she goes through and this masculine is the only one who can see through that and that's why she gets fearful of letting him see um, who she really is inside. Um, both ways I see that um, there's an energy of feeling like I won't be accepted for who I am or I will be taken advantage for my vulnerability. This masculine um, I wouldn't say you're never out of alignment but this masculine sometimes faces difficulty or majorly faces difficulty in um, bringing that light from within and that is when he turns over or looks back to his feminine because she was sort of like the guiding light it's like the fuel to his fire in a way um, and right now when she is kind of preoccupied with her own healing this masculine is feeling the absence of this pres um, of this feminine's energy in his life and I feel like there could have been a moment of um, sneakiness or deceptive behavior from his end where um, he could have sabotaged this connection and that is why she's facing difficulty in believing in the progress of this connection the King of Cups and the Two of Pentacles gives me a clear energy that this masculine sits with his feelings. He thinks a lot about approaching the feminine if you're in separation. But he goes back and forth because he still has this lingering energy of feeling unworthy. And he knows he has to clean up a few things in the physical realm to give her what she deserves. So comparatively, this masculine is also closed off to love. He's not actually very... Um, cohesive or collaborative as he might think himself to be because um, there's an energy of not realizing how much your subconscious patterns still hinder your ability to receive love from your feminine energy now this is for this masculine energy if you're listening and you resonate with this this is for you to understand that the feminine energy is within you as well and your feminine counterpart also has that masculine energy within themselves so their longing to be taken care by you is their own longing to take care of themselves which i feel like this feminine is trying um it's a lot of like um fall seven times and get up the eighth time and for the masculine there's an energy of trying uh, but feeling like not getting anywhere so over here i feel like one of the optimistic things that I feel that this masculine is allowing himself to feel the emotions that he has for his feminine. He's not precisely questioning the connection or the intensity of love that he has for her and the things that this love wants to make him do and improve himself. But the way that he has acted in the past when he wasn't that enlightened really hinders his ability to move forward. So for this masculine as well, I feel like technically um, you think that you might be ready, but um, because you have so much guilt from the past, you have regret for the way you have treated this feminine because the universe is showing you um, the pain that she has and also has been caused by you in a way. It is making difficult for you to forgive yourself where you have to understand that these things are not just preparatory for the success of your connection, but it's also the way divine plan things so the more that you accept things had to happen a way because for this masculine i would give you an insight that if you hadn't rejected your feminine she wouldn't know how much a wound from her father figure or a maternal figure really affects her where she feels unworthy and she cannot allow you to take care of her right so uh, this feminine might have a hyper independent energy where she's like i'll do everything for myself she kind of takes pride in that and this masculine has a lonesome energy i'd rather say this masculine even though he wants to cooperate with other people 
he wants to create that camaraderie and relationships um sometimes he just becomes a little lazy or procrastinates in putting effort or allowing people in his life because of his past so now these are majorly subconscious now don't get me wrong um where the feminine is able to see her rejection wounds i feel like um this was also something that is coming from the subconscious that has been revealed to her and with the hierophant energy she is able to connect the dots um and whereas you are also fighting your own inner demons right now what you're struggling with is a also a pre-existing rejection wound that was not caused by the feminine so it just causes you a little bit more guilt because you projected that onto her all right so i'm going to take a few more cards to define the layout better Pile number one for the feminine. Sacred woman. Spiritual maturity. Bottom of the deck, I'm seeing chivalry and boundaries. Honoring your energy. Psychic development. This is for the masculine also. Movement into balance. Growth. Bottom of the deck, healing energy and duality. Now, whichever counterpart is listening, whether you're in the masculine or feminine energy, I want to affirm this to you that um, this is not a cliche way to tell you that this is happening for your good, but you have to see because of the consequences or the repercussions of how things are unfolding, you both are majorly healing from your childhood wounds. Now, whatever you're feeling right now is not something that is precariously caused by your counterpart. They're just they're meant to do things in a way that provokes you to feel the pain that was already existing within you now for this feminine energy i feel like it's a lot about understanding that she can do all the things that she craves this masculine to do for her in a healthier manner this feminine has a dysfunctional pattern of feeling pride in her independence and i feel like if this feminine does not show you that she wants a man to bring that structure in her life so that she can be more receptive and more sensitive and more feminine in her ways um, because of the way that she feels she has to go out there and deal with life it puts her in a masculine space and because uh, she is it's almost like a healing process okay of this dysfunctional pattern i feel like it majorly comes from a place of not having a secure father figure over here where she's trying to grow out of this pa pa passive aggression you could have picked up a lot of aggression from this feminine because she has a lot of pain from not feeling that security that she should have felt in her childhood especially emotional security and feeling the safety and ability and healthy masculinity so this feminine is kind of doing the same thing that you were doing the masculine energy both of you are moving into this place of balance and honoring your energy now these two cards movement into balance for the feminine and honoring your energy for the masculine really gives me an energy of mirroring where you are understanding um how to respect yourself how to respect yourself enough to love yourself and heal through the pain because you deserve love so this is massive transformation going on for the both of you over here where this feminine um 
will learn how to create space for the masculine to take care of her and be receptive whereas um, this masculine is going through a process of spiritual maturity where it feels a little bit bleak for him but there's intuitive insights coming in i did mention in the beginning that this masculine is very psychic at the moment and he's developing his gifts and he's understanding the ability and his intuitive knowingness this masculine knows that he's being led to a higher um, potential of being and he is also protecting his energies he is learning those things that are spiritual that are based on spiritual hygiene and this masculine is really showing me with the spiritual maturity that he's growing through this phase um i feel like even though there's subconscious fears that he's not aware of whatever he is aware of right now he's working with it so he's becoming more efficient in the way that he deals with this connection and i feel like a milestone that he has hit is not running away from what he feels for his feminine this masculine could have been in a runner energy for a really long time and the moment that this feminine is sort of like feeling a little bit of hopelessness um, and she's pouring into herself it's causing um, a sort of retaliating I wouldn't say retaliating but a retaliating energy within this masculine where he's not willing to give up on this connection because um, he's feeling the feminine kind of pulling away from him but also he's seeing that she's not that bothered by his presence in a way and I feel like this is also a dysfunctional pattern where he feels like there's no space for her because he gets intimidated by her he feels like she doesn't need him where you know the male gender feels loved by feeling needed by the other person person in their life right they want to serve the other person it is a major trait of the masculine energy and i feel like um he could have felt like he doesn't fit in his life where your feminine might or might have not told you that um she is not exactly this person who puts on a facade that she doesn't want to be catered by another man she doesn't want to be sensitive and uh, pretty pretty in pink kind of an energy um but this masculine also kind of needs to realize that uh, that is her defense mechanism where she puts up that facade because she doesn't want um to get disappointed when she expects that from another man right so this is for this masculine and where i see that his psychic development is giving him deeper insights i feel like whereas your feminine is kind of self-absorbed and um kind of a dysfunctional way right now i feel like um you're both doing your best but i feel like specifically the feminine energy spirit guides are really communicating communicating with the masculine's 3d self and making him understand what she is going through and not to take her healing process personal that she's focusing on on herself and that she's completely checked out of this connection she's just confused because she's hurting right now and in a way where you're going back and forth is also because your past still affects you this is completely to just understand that layout all right so now i'm gonna take out a few advice cards for the both of you to conclude this reading We have gifts again we have gifts for the masculine we have grief eruption connection bottom of the deck renewal and air definitely I spoke about this energy in the beginning of revision like you're revising everything that you've learned and you're trying to apply that it's a lot about spiritual wisdom and the applicability of it in the reality so for this feminine i feel like definitely the advice is to feel the pain feel it to heal it you are feeling the connection don't try to defy it i feel like majorly there's a message for this masculine to understand that whatever you're seeing on the feminine social media or the way that she's putting up a facade is also a trait that she picked up from your distorted masculine energy in the past like 
do you remember um, when it was probably in the beginning of the connection and you used to run away from the feelings that you had for your feminine and you used to put up a facade on social media or just going out and about looking like you're really enjoying your life um, this is kind of the feminine energy where she's trying to portray like she's doing really good in her life but she's actually healing through a lot of pain and this could result in this feminine kind of embodying a little bit of runner energy because she is feeling tired of fighting for this connection alone is what I'm hearing and she's trying to find a balance between loving herself and also giving the reins of this connection to the divine um there's a little bit of a lack of faith in the connection i don't feel like it's a disruption with the connection with divine but i feel like it is um resulting as a lot of doubts and fear for this feminine because it's making her feel quite alone at this point in her life whereas for this masculine i feel like the energy that i pick up over here is a lot about um emerging emotions like there's a lot that he wants to say there's a lot that's brewing inside because of the maturity that he's gaining there's a heavy emphasis on this masculine's psychic development his spiritual gifts enhancing at this point so uh the message again that i have for this masculine is almost like you're developing more trust in your spiritual abilities and the more insight that you're getting in uh, this feminine's life it's kind of maybe making you a little confused because of the way that she's showing up in the 3d and the intuitive hits that you're getting it's more than necessary for you to focus upon what intuitive hits you're getting rather than what the feminine is showing herself to be all right um because i feel like this masculine needs a lot of reassurance that um it's kind of not the end of it because he's completely accepting his emotions for her and also the depravity that is there in his life of not having her. I think that this masculine is going through a revelation of realizing her importance in his life. And it's causing a lot of tower moments because he's seeing his behavior in the past that was unfair. So again, the recommendation is just to feel it and heal it. Feel through these emotions. Don't bottle them up. And forgive yourself for what you have done. All right. So pile number one, this was your reading. I really do hope that you found a message that was helpful if you did please do hit the like button subscribe for more hit the bell icon so you know whenever i upload next let me know down in the comment section how that resonated and i'm gonna see you guys in another one bye hello pile number two if you chose the wild horse jasper this is going to be your reading so the card that we have is make friends friendship is the alchemy of success so right off the bat i feel like there's this energy of um when you both probably met or there was this cupid shot the arrow you both immediately felt the need to be with each other romantically but you couldn't have the time and space and patience to develop a friendship that is more necessary to understand each other on a deeper level you could have met this person online there was just a sense of um rapid development of feelings that didn't just give you the space to get to know each other as two individuals rather than looking at each other as romantic rescuers is the word that i'm getting so for this reading i'm going to be using two decks one for the masculine one for the feminine energy over here feel free to exchange the energies you might be mirroring so don't be too attached to one energy designated energy in the reading um feel free to exchange the energies or pick whatever message resonates with you all right so we're gonna begin with determining the feminine's energy first of all the feminine energy represents the yin energy and the masculine represents the yang energy so pile number two i'm gonna take reversals as i'm guided to place i'm gonna take this card upright we have the six of pentacles I'm going to take this in reverse we have the page of wands
I'm going to take this reverse, but the Hierophant in reverse. Upright, I have the Justice upright. Taurus and Libra energy, Venus. Taking this upright, we have the Ace of Cups. Reverse, we have the Hermit in reverse. Right, we have the Knight of Wands. Reverse, the Death in Reverse. Bottom of, bottom of the deck, I'm seeing Ten of Pentacles. Crowning is Ace of Pentacles. So for the masculine energy, pile number two, upright, five of wands, reverse, eight of cups, reverse, Reverse now upright reverse but upright four of cups upright reverse upright Queen of Pentacles upright Reverse, Seven of Swords, Reverse, Six of Pentacles, Upright, Ten of Swords in Reverse. Bottom of the deck, I'm seeing the Ace of Swords and the King of Wands. So I feel like I'm going to begin off with the feminine energy over here. We have Scorpio, we have Taurus, we have Libra, Virgo. I feel like this feminine okay if that's you i'm going to be talking to both energies over here and fast person i feel like with the page of wands in reverse and the ace of cups and the knight of wands over here with the six of pentacles this feminine has um, learned how to place boundaries against this masculine's in and out behavior now um, there are loosely placed boundaries, but there's a gaining understanding about how to protect self from other people's energies, even if not mandatory, very deceptive, but they can come across as deceptive. This feminine is gaining more understanding about this masculine's behavior. Um, that honk was a definite confirmation that you're understanding this person's psyche. And I feel like whereas this feminine wants justice in this connection, there's a resistance to accepting the end or the, the failure of this connection in the moment, okay? Don't take that close to your heart. It just means that you weren't ready for 
the success completely the victory of this connection and there, this is a preparatory lead is what i'm getting so this feminine i feel like compare in comparison with the masculine um she is slightly open to receiving love but there's a barrier where she also runs away when somebody shows her a lot of affection i'm hearing that song by sabrina carpenter i don't know which song it is but there was a lyric which says uh, when you show me too much love it makes me want to run away guess guess that's one of the many things that's wrong with me so something about this feminine life has been about fighting for love um fighting for other people's attention and choosing the wrong people because of that attachment style to love now i think that this feminine is comparatively also like the masculine resisting the acceptance of the end of this connection um i'm hearing ignorance is bliss but there's also an energy and pile number two i want to take i want you to take this lightly with a grain of salt don't take it too closely to your heart but there's definitely a message for you over here i feel like with the hierophant and the death in reverse both of them are in reverse which really tells me that um you really tried to get this person's attention your masculine's attention and it has not been receptive in a way um which internally you don't realize has created more fear and um it's almost this energy where you don't want to accept love because sometimes you feel like um it will lead you to disappointment in the future now i feel like this feminine energy does recognize the need for healing um but there's some sort of resistance i feel like spirit is saying it's about fast impressions like this feminine energy has a lot of love for the masculine she is trying to love herself as well but um there are limitations to the ways that she can love herself in the moment she's not recognizing her full value at the moment I feel like uh, this feminine is also scared to look inside of herself what resists from accepting the end of this connection over here and it is also facing the aspects of herself which enable this masculine to treat her in a way which was not fair to her right for this masculine's energy I feel like over here with the 8 of cups in reverse and the 6 of pentacles I get a very prominent energy of this masculine really wanting to give to the feminine but there's a barrier in receiving the feminine's love this masculine does not feel safe it makes him feel a little bit emasculated when he accepts love and for him to understand that the flow of love and relationships is by giving and receiving from both ends separate energies i feel like this masculine is also ga gaining the strength a little bit to understand the ending of it but he is not completely facing it right now because it's really difficult for him and this masculine is also seeing the flaws in his ways this masculine could also have a major mother wound which doesn't enable him from receiving love now this is the same thing that's in the feminine which is like if you show me too much love i run away so this feminine could have really poured into this masculine and she feels defeated by the fact that she kept on giving and she didn't receive any back um and i feel like this masculine feels guilty for not accepting this connection is almost what i feel like this masculine is coming around to the realization that you're everything that he would want in a person his feminine is wise she's beautiful she is good with money and she's also very intellectual she is she's the ultimate woman or man that he would want he or she would want in another person or a companion Now I think that this brings us back to the end of the to the beginning of the reading excuse me where it mentioned that where I mentioned that this this happened too quick between the both of you and you just started feeling a lot of roaring emotions for each other and being around each other and a lot of passion and a lot of um a lot of um desire for each other is what I feel especially from the masculine he's really holding back his energy and I feel like on a heart level this masculine realizes that he has a tug of war between um leaving his past behind and this could also be from previous relationships that majorly hinder his ability to give in to this connection I feel like this masculine could have faced um or encountered a lot of manipulative energies which required for him to 
um, sort of like he has this mentality perhaps which um, makes him feel like if he gives into love or if he gives love or if he takes love he will owe somebody something now this could have come from a mother figure who could have loved him con conditionally and that makes him feel like he has to be perfect so this masculine is um, hindered by his ability to completely give into this connection because he feels unworthy of it right um, and this all binds together with both of their abilities um, being hindered by their childhood wounds um, for the masculine energy I see that majorly aware with the seven of swords in reverse this is I feel like with the bottom of the deck energy we had the ace of swords this is an energy of epiphany that this masculine has had that I want to do better and believe you me this masculine wants to give into this connection okay he wants to have reciprocity over here we have the six of pentacles for the feminine and the masculine as well both of you want to give okay cognitively you do want to be equal for each other and be equal partners in a relationship but i think that your subconscious fears are still hindering your ability now i keep using the word hindering because it's almost like you don't understand how much it sort of um creates a lack mentality between the both of you where you push away love when somebody is trying to love you so now even though that this masculine is in a hoarding energy like he's taken a lot from this feminine he's still not able to give it because he doesn't have that within himself and for this feminine i feel like it's a lot about she keeps giving it and in expectations of return now the subconscious fear that i pick up on the feminine which is very prominent is that she thinks that she's ready for love but she's not exactly because the subconscious still screams that putting all my eggs in a basket is going to lead me to disappointment and that's the same non-committal energy that she could have received from this masculine so these fears kind of came alive because they manifested in reality i feel like the feminine has an upper hand in some some shape or form over here which she could have exercised or she thinks about exercising um, where she wants to make this masculine feel the same pain that he has caused her and this comes from a place of um inability to love herself and feel like i'm almost getting this quote like um doing those people dirty like they did me is beneath me in a way so she feels like taking karma in her own hands and giving the masculine taste of his own medicine in a way now this masculine is fearful of approaching her exactly in the right manner even though he's not able to let go with the eight of cups in reverse he still wants to give into this connection he's facing difficulty in completely um because there is comparatively only one two cups which is one is eight of cups which is about not being able to move on in reverse eight of cups in reverse and the four of cups gives me an energy of feeling discontent dissatisfied and also feeling like i will be rejected so even though they don't feel worthy of you they still want to come back they still want to give in to this connection but again i feel like i have to repeat this that on a conscious level you are trying to be receptive to each other but what hinders your ability i repeat what hinders your ability from within is a fear of rejection and feeling unworthy of love so both of you in kind of like same shape or forms reject love because you don't feel worthy of love is what i majorly see over here now uh, for the masculine energy again there's a lot of comparative energy that i feel from spirit that they're making me understand both of your point of views and a lot of subconscious patterns that are coming alive this masculine is fighting his way through these fears um he's not wanting to be unjust to her because i feel like this masculine with the epiphany has kind of learned his lesson that the more that he hurts the feminine he hurts himself and this could have been a manipulative energy where he was trying to have an upper hand he was trying to add sly um and he realized that the way that he hurt her or he deceived her in a way hurt him back okay he didn't want to do that to her but because of his own fears of intimacy and vulnerability in a connection because he feels like if he loves somebody they would make him weaker um he kind of created an internal tug of war which i feel like i need to reassure you that if you're in the masculine energy you're getting through this and if you're in the feminine energy your masculine is fighting through this okay 
he's trying to do the level best that he can he's not trying to blind himself for the feelings that he has but right now i think that this masculine's heart chakra is comparatively a little bit blocked okay then the feminine this could be a newer connection or it is in the initial stages it doesn't matter how many years it's been with this person you're still trying to understand and find your own self through the reflections of this connection and the other person in front of you so this masculine is trying to fight through the past pain now this could have resulted from a bad breakup i feel like this is majorly from a bad breakup where he chose the wrong partners for himself as well there are so many similarities between these two divine counterparts i i feel like it's uncanny right it's like you both do the same things in different ways but it is powered by the same fears and subconscious patterns um for this feminine with the hierophant in reverse and the death i don't believe that you're out of alignment okay but i feel like you're resisting some sort of eye opener where you need to realize that this masculine has done you wrong instead of feeling spiteful you need to level up from that and not allow anybody to treat you like that so there's this way of ego in the feminine where she wants to get back at the masculine because some shape or form she feels like by retaliating or seeking revenge even if that's not you that is a message for someone who's feeling a little spiteful towards their masculine now and then because the pain comes up and she feels like maybe by saying something to him or doing something hurtful to him to retaliate will heal her pain but it's only a way where she's expecting this masculine to feel defeat or come soothe her pain where he can't do that right he's so preoccupied with his own internal struggles this masculine does not push away his feminine because um he doesn't love her he doesn't desire her in his life he feels unworthy of love and pure fulfilling commitment um whereas you kind of fail to realize the feminine energy over here that you're also fearful of commitment you want to give in to a connection you want to be taken care of and you want to take care of another person but because of your own inner ability uh, this sort of lack where you can't support yourself completely um there's a thin line between interdependence and codependency in both of you where you want to get close to another person you want them to take care of you but the moment you see slightest danger or repetitive repetitive pattern from the past which wasn't even this person it could be another person you get really fearful because you haven't healed from your own past relationships now this feminine could have been involved with someone who previously before the masculine who was quite um non-committal could have also cheated on them and this is something that the masculine is majorly provoking in this person to heal um and the masculine is being compelled to heal his defeat from investing a lot in a connection where he felt he lost his control he felt emasculated by the other person this feminine really soothes his pain okay she makes him feel really loved and welcomed and the moment he starts feeling that comfort that he's not felt with his own mother it has hindered his ability to develop that relationship with other feminine energies and it has sort of made a dysfunctional relationship with self where he feels emasculated when he gives in to love or he feels like love is a weakness okay so i see that with the feminine energy she also feels like there's an energy of i i don't want to give in to completely putting all my um eggs in a basket with a man or in a relationship because i'm scared of what if my needs are not fulfilled right this feminine has a fear of abandonment and disappointment that she has faced in the past that she is projecting onto this masculine so i feel like comparatively what this feminine requires is a lot more time to understand herself and what emotions are coming from her past and this masculine needs more time to heal from his mother wounds so that he doesn't see the feminine in the same reflection as all the other feminines he's had in his life embodying this karmic trait all right so we're going to pick out a few more oracle cards to get a better layout of the reading pile number 2 
retreat changes past present future joy we have unlimited possibilities bottom of the deck with grounding source and obstacle okay they want me to reshuffle this phenomenon attachment and release so this is such a powerful card to get attachment for the both I feel like this really represents the masculine because I do see a masculine figure but it's not I feel like I'm intuitively picking this up for both of you and release over here which rep represents these both cards there are two spheres at the top of them and this card also has the sphere so I feel like let's talk about the masculine energy this masculine has attachment to holding on other people's energy to bring them a sense of happiness this is the kind of person who believes that other people can make them happy now i wouldn't be surprised if this masculine has told you how to make him happy him or her happy okay and this is because the mentality with the phenomena card it's almost giving like he has been taught that other people or uh, relationships or people that you keep in your life should bring you happiness in some shape or form they should fulfill you which is correct but not at the detriment um where you're not able to fulfill yourself right there's a lot of grounding energy that i feel over here that's required because there's a lot of emotions desires feelings that are up in the air and that are not actually con conceptualized in reality and understood correctly i feel like over here with the joy card there are dragonflies and birds over here which is again i get a very airy energy air signs libra aquarius gemini sun moon rising i feel like over here with the past present and future this is a lot about this person how their past affects their present and their future right um your masculine um has certain things that he does not realize the limiting beliefs and we had the obstacle card that came before where maybe there are oppositions to this connection or he suspects such oppositions because maybe you have cultural differences age gaps or anything that are um societal differences or barriers to a peaceful harmonious relationship or what is perceived as to be correct in the society now this masculine has attachment to his society and preferably what his mother thinks of him because this person is still chasing their parents approval i could be wrong about just the mother figure because there could be the influence of both parents but specifically when the queen of pentacles is over here i feel like this is a lot about gaining the mother's respect and approval in life that you have done what you need to do to be worthy of my love the more that this masculine heals from this energy he will be able to accept the feminine more because he will accept himself as uh, flawless and imperfect he is okay um i see that with the joy this masculine is understanding how to fulfill his own cup by the lack of presence of the feminine in his life because the feminine used to pour quite a lot in his cup right she used to deplete herself to fulfill this masculine and now that he doesn't have her he is understanding that he took her for granted her love for granted as well this masculine wants to communicate to this feminine about what he's learned or come correct in a way i feel like i'm getting that i need to come right in your direction this masculine understands that she will kind of cut him off if he doesn't come correct now we had the crowning energy as king of torches and the ace of swords over here he realizes that he needs to come as a changed man in whatever way possible that he can with the best of his abilities um, and i feel like with the past present future there's certain significance about um, developing a deeper bond with you developing um, 
a deeper friendship with the feminine that we saw in the beginning where he wants to give more time in understanding this connection but what i see over here is very important for the both of you to understand is that with the six of pentacles and the eight of cups in reverse this person is not emotionally completely open so they might spend money on you they might spend time on you energy on you but emotionally you will feel that gap between the both of you feeling vulnerable with each other and that's why i think that we had the card of make friends where it's a lot about um you know how this card says Friend, friendship is the alchemy of success alchemy speaks about turning your pain into power and friendship is a lot about creating that camaraderie safe place for each other right and i feel like this masculine will require time to understand himself and as well as understanding the feminine in her own imperfect ways right not feeling threatened by her defenses and her coping mechanisms in a way and her love language most of all so what i see over here is that he wants to put in the effort but somewhere there will be a barrier in receiving love from the feminine again so i have to be really honest pile number two all right and i feel like if you're in the masculine energy this is to make you more aware of the way that you're um i feel like you have pure intentions towards your feminine but you're um sort of missing the important pieces of the puzzle that the feminine craves to be loved in certain ways all right and the feminine energy we have retreat changes in source so now this is again the same thing that comes off that the feminine is the guiding light in the masculine's life she is the leader and there's the reason why the feminine is the leader and the guiding light in the connection um by hook or crook whether you like to hear this or not feminine um your ascension process leads to this masculine's ascension process in the counterpart journey and it's important for you to retreat and understand how does your yin energy how does your distorted feminine um push away love when some other man or masculine trait energy tries to love you because it's unfamiliar to you it makes you feel unsafe and it makes you feel like that that love will be taken away and moment that you become comfortable with it right and this could have happened in your childhood with your father figure or your mother figure but i feel more heavy emphasis on father figure now you could have a uh, separate siblings or you could have been the elder child or the younger child or even the middle but somewhere in your life you felt like that love or energy was diverted to somebody else or another sibling and you felt like you're not that important enough so there's a scare or a fear of abandonment of being dropped by this masculine at any point of time that you're projecting onto him which makes you want to keep um chasing him and showing him that you're you're worthy of his love and his attention he will do that if he wants you in his life right you don't have to keep pursuing another person when they're not giving you the same love back and this is also for you to understand that right now he has his own healing to do so that he can also pour into his cup and yours coming forth so this is to embrace the changes that are coming through and um connecting with your intuition and deepening your bond with the source because that is the purest form of unconditional love that you will be able to embody and understand with god divine or the higher realms whatever you believe in all right so this is a lot about you to just understand how things are going on with number 29 over here changes reduces to 11 it really gives me a lot of twin flamey soulmate vibe over here which is to realize that whatever you're feeling so disappointed and hurt within the masculine is also within you my dear feminine so before we conclude i am going to pull out an advice card for the both of you Sorted feminine. Silver waterfall. Bottom of the deck, maturity and emotional freedom. So I feel like the card of emotional freedom, which is the um, crowning energy, which talks about things that are pushing us to do better for ourselves. I think that both counterparts understand that this journey is freeing them from their past pain. Now, I did speak about this masculine having a mother wound where he feels like um, it's not safe to be loved by another woman. His, I, I wouldn't say that this masculine is perfectly misogynistic, but I feel like he has a distorted vision towards the feminine energies in his life and woman per se. 
his ability to feel loved by another woman um he kind of shies away from that because he feels like he would lose his masculinity or he starts feeling emasculated and that is a fear of vulnerability and i specifically get the key word weakness that he starts feeling weak when he's in love because he feels out of control so this is for you masculine to understand that this is um an exchange of power right when um your weakness becomes a woman and for a woman his man becomes her strength right so this is a lot about understanding that when you're in love you have an exchange of power with another person right and i feel like this is for you to understand that it is completely safe for you to love your feminine okay she is not gonna hurt you like other people have and whatever wounds that your mother has inflicted upon upon you and your relationship with her um, because of her own trauma is not to be projected on to the feminine in categorizing or generalizing her as the same person right and for the feminine i see over here that the silver waterfall is a lot about cultivating your own abundance in life not being scared for being rescued i get a very damsel in distress energy where even though pile number two um you are really trying to heal okay i feel like there's a blind spot in understanding that sometimes you feel defeated by the circumstances of life maybe you don't like living where you are maybe you don't like your job and your way of escapism is thinking that when the masculine will come and sort of like rescue me from my life circumstances this is for you to understand that you also have this masculine energy within you that can manifest a better way of living all right so pile number two this was your reading i really do hope that you found a message that was helpful if you did please do hit the like button subscribe for more hit the bell icon so you know whenever i upload next let me know down in the comment section how that resonated and i'm gonna see you guys in another one bye hello pile number three if you chose the rose quartz this is going to be your reading so the card that we have for you is do not be frustrated let go and feel peaceful so i feel like um there's an immediate energy of anxiety you and your counterpart could be feeling quite frustrated with how this connection is progressing i feel like there's a lot of energy of letting go of past resentments and forgiving each other for the mistakes or the way that you have triggered each other i feel like there's a lot of angel guidance around the both of you that is helping you heal through this time frame this could be a separation pile or you could be also in commit um communication i was about to say commitment so you could be committed with this person as well i feel like there's indefinite energy of opening your hearts to receive and give love as well so for this reading i'm going to be using two decks i'm going to be talking in first person the energies might also come mixed as you might be mirroring each other so take whatever resonates and let what doesn't slide away keep an open mind until the end of the reading to derive conclusions from this reading if you have chosen this there might be a definitive message for you to hear so firstly we're gonna pan out the masculine's energy over here I'm gonna be taking reversals as I feel guided to place so pile number three there might be a message in pile number one for you I'm gonna be taking this in reverse eight of pentacles in reverse reverse five of pentacles in reverse Eight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles upright, The tower, the 
I'm gonna place the five of pentacles upright. For this masculine, I feel like there's an energy of threading lightly. Chariot in reverse. Queen of Cups. Oh, I take this as the sun, so I'm going to shuffle again. Two of Wands. Bottom of the deck, I'm seeing the Three of Wands along with the Ace of Pentacles. That is a good energy. So for the feminine, For the feminine energy, I'm hearing that you might have a message in pile number two. Reverse. We have the Hierophant in reverse. Nine of Swords. Four of Wands in reverse. The star upright. Chariot. Four of Cups, Reverse. Three of Swords. And the page of pentacles bottom of the deck we also have the ace of pentacles and the two of cups all right i'm gonna begin off with the masculine's energy so the masculine counterpart over here he is learning to love himself now this masculine could have had a broken home could have witnessed their parents' divorce. Um, something that has really shaped his um, meaning and definition of love, commitment, marriage also. Now, both counterparts have this energy that I pick up intuitively about marriage. We have the Ace of Pentacles for the masculine's crowning energy and back of the deck for the feminine. I feel like comparatively, both of you are on the same page about what you want from each other. Um, where this comes in play with the masculine's energy is a lot about not wanting to put in effort because that subconscious fear still hinders his ability to believe that it is possible for him because this is so prominently placed in his cognitive resonance that this might result or might not result out the way I want it to. So I keep myself safe. I don't put all my eggs in a basket, especially when it comes to commitment. I feel intuitively that this masculine is coming out of a phase or trying to come out of a phase of non-committal tendencies. This masculine could not believe in the ability of having a committed relationship because he didn't feel deserving of it. Now, if you're the masculine energy, I feel like there's a sense of rushing in communicating with your feminine and telling her what you have learned through this experience because 
um comparatively this is a very strong feminine energy that i feel over here this is a divine feminine who understands her abilities her intuitive abilities her power to manifest for herself and what she deserves at this point of time this could be quite intimidating for this masculine energy because often he feels like she doesn't need her and that's why i feel like pile number one might resonate for the masculine energies over here I see that over here that he sees her as somebody that's very unconditionally loving and someone who sometimes goes beyond her ways, um, out of her way to make other people feel loved and sometimes she leaves herself feeling depleted or out in the cold. He is seeing this new transformed version of this divine feminine who is learning how to love herself and put herself first. I feel like with the feminine energy over here, she's facing difficulty in believing in the complete victory and success of this connection, but there's still hope in her. I feel like with the star energy, we have Aquarius, Hierophant, Taurus. We have Chariot in both the counterparts energy, which is Cancer. And I feel like this is a very strong indicator that... Um, for the masculine, we also have scorpionic energy. This is a lot about understanding and breaking free from your past patterns. And this is a Pluto energy, which really tells me that he is trying to break away from his non-committal tendencies. Now, this masculine could have had a lot of pain, which when your heart chakra is not able to process, um, you release it through a lot of sexual pleasure. And I feel like for both of them, when we have chariot over here, for the masculine, that is in reverse and the feminine it is upright. This masculine is still learning how to put his needs before others. There could have been um, outside obstacles or interference in the acceptance and I'm getting the word coordination of this connection in other places of his life, how it fits in other places. Where does this feminine energy fit in his life? And I feel like um, he has been trying to figure this out because there's an awakening in this masculine is what I feel. Um, there's some shape or form where this masculine is making better choices for himself. He's committed and I'm hearing that I consider you heavily in what I do. So this is a message for the feminine that the masculine wants to let you know that he is trying to make better decisions um, in consideration with you. Now when we talk about giving and receiving love, I feel like... Um, both counterparts are kind of afraid to give love whereas receiving is opening because they are reevaluating their self-worth and correcting um, their cognitive resonance with feeling worthy of love over here this masculine has had a breakthrough in his journey with the tower and the eight of wands there's a lot of angel guidance that i feel in this connection this connection is very protected and if you look around for signs they're always there i want to let you both know that there are signs um, that are accustomed to your journey they are personalized and your angel spirit guides are always working with you and helping you um, evaluate and make steps um, according to the success of this connection is what i almost feel so i feel like with the five of pentacles the queen of cups two of wands and the chariot in reverse this masculine has an important decision to make whether he will choose himself or he will keep manifesting or investing in the previous um established foundation that he has even though it doesn't completely fulfill him i think that if there was a family dynamic that this masculine had whether he was married before or whether he himself witnessed a divorce or it was because of his parents i think that this uh, this sort of mentality is breaking and it's also making him a little bit lethargic investing in the previous foundation that he already has because he's realizing that it doesn't fulfill him from inside okay so to answer the question whether this masculine is ready for love or not i feel like comparatively he can be if he wants to be that is the um, answer that I get over here because there's work that he needs to put himself which I really really feel that he is putting over here there's a very optimistic energy on the masculines and and as well as the feminine but I sense a huge intimidation from his feminine because he sees her conquering all her battles he sees her as a rising phoenix and this often creates a lack mentality within him where he feels like where do I stand with her because she is such a um fierce independent person and as a masculine energy specifically if you are the male gender you feel needed and um 
loved by another person wanting your care protection in their life right um it's the natural instinct of the male gender to provide protect and sort of like hunt right the primal nature so even though this masculine has a lot of burning sensation or desires within for this feminine he is understanding his role in this connection he's understanding how does he come into play and what does he bring to the table for the feminine because i think his um self-worth was for a very long time attached with the monetary success and protection and safety that he can bring to her but he also sees that she's well capable of bringing that to herself so it left him wondering what do i bring to the table and it was for him to realize that this feminine is looking for intimacy a deeper commitment with this masculine rather than him being his sort of like quote-unquote atm machine in a way right so it could have also led this feminine making this masculine feel a little bit inadequate because she could have flaunted this in his face now that could be a message for a few of you or this could have been perceived by the masculine as her doing more better than her in financial aspects as well now this is not a competitive energy but this is something that this masculine had within himself feeling a little inferior to her because his primal instinct was not fitting in with what she wanted and he felt a little bit depleted depleted in his ability to give to this connection because he felt like this is what always women have wanted from me or feminine energies have wanted from me is to um, sort of provide for them materially right so i see that over here he is reevaluating the way that he perceives himself and his value in this world um, this masculine is doing quite a lot of work in um, healing himself and understanding that he is perfect as he is um, and he doesn't really have to go out there and become a money making machine rather than somebody that gives her emotional security because this masculine with the awakening and everything and his um, purely developed psychic gifts is what i feel he is quite connected with the divine is also what i feel he understands why things had to happen the way they did and he also has a mental grasp about the fact that she was always looking for his love care and support more than anything that is materially manifested or materially acquired so I feel like this masculine understands that um, he wants to give her all these things but she is not kind of receptive to it as well so that is a dysfunctional pattern in this feminine where she could be completely hyper independent at this point i don't see this feminine being completely dysfunctional where she doesn't allow a man to take care of her or the masculine energies to do things for her she's becoming more receptive to these things but her ideology and accepting what is offered to her in a relationship is changing because she's not looking exactly for monetary support she's looking for more emotional support somebody that she can share her life with and emotional i feel like challenges with she's looking for that um, male guidance in her life now this could have been a feminine who i'm getting the word orphaned or could have felt really abandoned by the masculine figures in her life and she has reached this level of guiding herself using her own masculine potency but also looking forward to what her masculine can bring forward so now where this feminine was maybe submissive or no i think the word is um dismissive yeah dismissive to the masculine's effort and his presence in her life i think now she's gaining more value for his um influence for his opinions for the guidance that he brings because he also has something really unique to offer to the feminine that she won't find in herself right it's all about perceptions so i think that this masculine com comes across to me as very street smart and this feminine could be quite book smart and that's just a code word for what feminines are really good at is being guiding light and masculines are really good at figuring out the physical realm so this masculine is working on his monetary support and i feel like this is helping him also gain a healthier balance within and feel more masculine where maybe his pentacles weren't in order and he used to feel emasculated which was also related to his self-worth which led to an awakening to realize that he is more than the money he brings to a table all right this is a healthy masculinity coming in with him and if you're the feminine over here i feel like you're releasing pain from your own parents marriage now your parents could have also been divorced or you could have witnessed a divorce yourself or it could just be a simple case where your parents stuck around and they didn't get a divorce and still it was a very um emotionally volatile connection or a relationship for you 
to be a part of um, and i think that this feminine is moving forward and releasing her rejection wounds when it comes to love and placing barriers to love because she didn't feel worthy of it because i think that this feminine comes from a background of two emotionally volatile parents that would be bickering all day long so it didn't give her space as a child to express her emotions which made her feel like her emotional body is as equivalent as absent and now that she's realizing that she wants more friendship and emotional companionship in her masculine it's almost creating an energetic spark within this masculine to enable himself and develop this emotional maturity from within where he can offer that to her so the more that this feminine energy uh, you're figuring out your own needs it's building this uh, masculine instinct in the masculine to serve you with that emotional compatibility so this masculine is putting in the work to improve himself now i see that over eight of pentacles and the ten of pentacles over here um it really is contradictory because we have the eight of pentacles in reverse and i read intuitively and what i feel is that he's not willing to put in um more effort into things that are just monetary substantial he wants to put more value into emotional connections because his emotional body is developing this masculine is healing from his own lack mentality and now it's enabling him to provide that for himself so he's repairing his own divine feminine and that is also a mirroring energy in this feminine where she's repairing her divine feminine and masculine and allowing a man to fulfill those areas of her life now she could have been quite independent for a while even to the cost of her own detriment where she would feel compelled to go out things go out there and do things that a man should do in a way okay not to be sexist but there are roles for both genders right and this feminine is creating space for a man to protect for her provide for her and bring that masculine structure i feel this energy of desperation that used to come from this feminine before where she used to feel like a damsel in distress that's why i feel like pile number two for the feminines could resonate quite a lot now comparatively these are two evolved individuals who understand the purpose of this connection very very deeply and they are on board with it almost because they feel that how this connection is releasing them from their past pain and their limiting barriers it's almost like this feminine still faces difficulty in healing her heart but she's trying to connect with her higher self something about commitment in marriages is still distorted in her perception and this could be reflected in the masculine now this is not to place comparisons but this feminine still faces difficulty in believing in the prospect of marriage she could have over time grown more fearful of commitments than the masculine this could also be a place where this feminine could have felt rejected by the masculine previously and she, she could have gone out there to find different suitors but ultimately it lead her led her to this conclusion that um, nobody really satiates her needs the way this masculine does and i feel like that's why there's this revelation for this feminine where she could have taken this masculine for granted or his opinion and presence in her life um there's this energy of this masculine always knowing how precious she is he couldn't have probably matched up with his actions but i feel like this feminine is gaining more importance about the irreplaceable component of this divine masculine in his life and it is because he is realizing that he has the way of nurturing her that nobody else does so this is com this is comparatively all about you both realizing that you are true um components of yin and yang in a divine counterpart relationship that what this masculine has strengths as could be your weaknesses but that is not to see that as somewhere where you're limited but where this person completes you and this is not at all to take away from the fact that you two are still whole beings on your own individual ends right and i feel like there's a lot of revelation on this feminine's end where she is realizing the importance of this masculine that is something that these spirit guides want to deliver to this masculine to realize that she sees your value and she has always seen the potential within you being a masculine caretaker for her now this feminine has a deep need to be loved as of now and i feel like this is also being reflected in the masculine where he is learning to love himself it's kind of perverse with the way you know masculine 
and feminine roles actually prosper but i feel like the more that this feminine is recognizing that she wants somebody to take care of her the more it's building this sort of um i wouldn't say paternal instinct in this masculine but this really deep sense of his feminine energy wanting to come caress her wounds whereas i think that this is developing a fixer energy in this masculine where right now he probably can't just approach her because there's a barrier within um him approaching her or completely accepting her and doing that for her because he has certain choices to make that's why he's putting a pause to it and what this moment of pause is serving as this feminine too is in a manifestation of her taking care of herself and healing her own heart where she feels like somebody needs to rescue her all right so again bringing us back to the question whether you both are ready for love i think that you can be comparatively this masculine is more ready to give rather than receive because his self-worth is a little bit still tied up to what he shows up as and how established he is in life and this feminine is still hindered by her ability of facing with this father wound where she wasn't taken care of so her trust and commitment and relying and completely letting a masculine make decisions not decisions that are on her own individual ends but decisions to made to be made for this relationship because um again with the gender dynamics um the way a relationship is defined is by the way a man leads it so she is still repairing this image within herself and healing parts of her which enables her to trust this masculine's discernment which she couldn't see previously now this could have been something that she saw in the beginning um but through the course of time as this connection evolved she started feeling a little bit distrust because she saw this masculine's shadow and moreover where she's forgiving herself and the masculine as well i think that this masculine is quite in a place to embrace her but he still has certain decisions to be made how he will pan or how he will let this situation pan out in his own life and these are also hindered by his own abilities in believing whether this connection is worth investing in and I, I don't feel exactly if it's worth investing in but will it pay off the way i want to invest in it right so both of you are facing your precognitive developed um terminologies and um, perception towards commitment and marriage first and foremost this is very based on the way you have witnessed your own parents relationship or if you were in a previous marriage this is about righting your wrongs or just healing yourself so that you can create a harmonious relationship for lifelong is what i see i feel like this masculine has the capability to be a very devoted partner and this feminine has uh, has the capability to be a very devoted nurturer and a homemaker but this is still being a bit uh, sort of hindered by their own limiting beliefs so this is completely purely um i would say i wouldn't like to say the word delayed but um is sort of being dilly dallied by their own perceptions of the way that they perceive things to happen for themselves because maybe um both of you are connecting the way you see yourself and the success of your relationships based across as how your parents are or you're thinking that you'll make the same mistakes or that is how relationships are meant to be so this is the time maybe in separation or if you're in communication where there's silence you're learning how to heal your heart now i feel like with the feminine with the star and the knight of swords nine of swords okay there's an energy of this feminine um having a lot of anxiety because she's trying to soothe her pain she's trying to break free from her own limiting barriers where she feels sometimes she feels unworthy of love because i feel like this feminine if you're in separation could have approached or tried to get along with other people where she didn't and that's how she felt the pain of not having the masculine but also facing more rejection which made her feel unlovable so this feminine is trying to repair herself and fix herself and put those pieces back together which is quite painful for her i see that over here and for this masculine it is all about healing his self-worth as what a healthy man looks like okay so we're going to pull out a few oracle cards to define this reading more. Pile number three. We have forgiveness, definitely. Definitely. 
to have grounding. And masculine energy. This literally confirms everything that I just said. Thank you, Spirit. We have anger. Integration. I'm going to take another one. But I did flip a card of transformation, which again confirms everything that I said. Feminine energy. Wow. This is such a powerful spread. We have transformation that I said before and burden. So I feel like even though that this situation is really heavy on the both of you, you both are healing these alternate energies, how you perceive as a masculine, how you perceive the feminine and her ability to love you. That could also come from a distorted perception of the relationship that you have had with your mother. And again, like I've explained this before, the feminine is healing the way that she has perceived her relationship with men and she probably could have generalized everyone based across her relationship with her father now this feminine is trying to ground herself because the more that anxiety is coming up this feminine could be going through panic attacks as well um but there's um comparatively a lot of pressure that she's feeling because something very deep has been triggered within her and not to take away from the masculine but he feels like he's in a little bit more better place because this masculine has not been pinched in the place the feminine has and that is just the way divine counterparts work right the feminine leads so she faces um, these purges a little bit before the masculine does so the masculine is yet to release a lot of passive aggression towards his parents especially maybe a father figure um, who could have um, i'm getting the word trained or tried to put him in a box as to what masculinity sounds like and this could have been a toxic masculine figure in his life which is why he was brought up with the idea that the way he's valuable and commendable and respected in the society is by how much he has accumulated in material manifestation and this anger is yet to be released it comes across as temperamental issues because um he's having to face the way he views himself and he's viewed other men around him so this is a masculine who's leading by example you know if you're a masculine who has a lot of friends you're redefining standards for men and you're actually leading with examples so you should be really proud of yourself and with integration i feel like this is again um, the mix of your spiritual wisdom and it, um, sort of like combining that with the feminine energy you have within yourself to love yourself forgive yourself and other people involved who have taught you these concepts that they were taught all right so you're breaking generational patterns for yourself and whereas for the feminine there's definitely forgiveness for self and her relationship with her father this feminine's emphasis is a lot about the relationship she's shared with her father and how she settled for less with this masculine where she probably wanted a lot of emotional companionship and she settled for maybe breadcrumbs in that emotional aspect now she is grounding that aspect and she's forgiving herself for maybe the rejection that she faced and she tried to find that um, resonance in other men around her or other suitors now she's trying to heal that pain because um, she was trying to put a band-aid on the pain that she felt she was trying to get validated even though she wanted to be just loved by her masculine all right so my throat chakra is cramming up a little bit but now i'm gonna pull out an advice card for the both of you to conclude this reading pile number three so we have luminosity and creativity bottom of the deck boundaries and sexual freedom so what i get with sexual freedom is a lot about your ability to just express yourself the way you want to be and i feel like with the masculine it's a lot about him just wanting to be who he wants to be he is a radiant personality this masculine could be quite charming he could attract a lot of women but it is also for him to understand what he deserves it's not to take up anything that you get and for this feminine i also feel like 
it's a lot about the ways that she's trying to soothe herself so the advice for the both of you is to always remain in your integrity um in moments of weakness don't try to find that comfort in other people's arms when you know that you're looking for your counterpart all right that is very simple spirit wants me to keep it at that so pile number three this was your reading i really do hope that you found a message that was helpful if you did please do hit the like button subscribe for more hit the bell icon so you know whenever i upload next let me know down in the comment section how that resonated and i'm gonna see you guys in another one bye